In this video we are going to talk about top 8 scary broadcast interruption. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to Adify for future updates. The viewers must experience a great deal of anxiety whenever a television broadcast is illegally intercepted. Imagine that you are watching your favorite show when all of a sudden you start receiving strange and cryptic messages that either you don't understand or that make you feel uncomfortable. Because technological development is always advancing, it is currently much more difficult for disreputable individuals to gain control of television channels and broadcast their message. This is a list of some of the most bizarre television broadcast hijackings that have ever taken place, and as you will see, the 1980s were responsible for a lot of the more significant ones. On this list of strange TV occurrences, you'll find a little bit of everything, ranging from deranged madmen to purported alien broadcasts, graphic content during the Super Bowl, and men who simply think the cable bill is too damn high. You'll find all of this and more here. Number 8. The Max Headroom Incident. One of the most unsettling interruptions to a television broadcast ever occurred in Chicago on November 22, 1987. The viewers were suddenly inundated with a pirate broadcast that featured a man dressed up as the television character Max Headroom. This occurred when the show Doctor Who was being shown. The viewer was frightened for close to a minute and a half by the man's nearly incoherent raving as he sang coke slogans, moaned and screamed while playing with gloves, and was paddled by a lady dressed as a French maid. The fact that the man has never been identified and the nature of his motivations are still unknown is the aspect of the situation that is the most horrifying. Number 7. Solidarity TV. In September of 1985, four Polish astronomers used a home computer and a transmitter to disrupt a broadcast that was taking place in the city of Torin. They overlaid messages that read read this onto broadcasts that were run by the state enough already with the price hikes, the lies, and the repressions. Solidarity Torin, in addition to, it is our responsibility to abstain from voting in this election. These actions were carried out by the guys in order to demonstrate their solidarity with the Solidarity Labor Movement and to lodge a protest against the harsh treatment meted out by the government. In the end, the four guys were apprehended, but because they were such high-ranking men in the Polish scientific community, they were simply handed probation and a small fee instead of a more severe punishment. Number 6. Zombie Alert on the Steve Wilkos Show It began as one of those standard warning broadcasts that you hear in the middle of your favorite show, but after a short while into the statement, it became obvious that something was wrong. In the year 2013, while the Steve Wilkos Show was being broadcast in the state of Montana, an alert began running across the screen. Before a robotic voice started talking about how they were in the initial stages of a zombie apocalypse and how the dead were rising and attacking the living, everything appeared to be normal. Number 5. Southern Television Broadcast Interruption. In 1977, did a mysterious extraterrestrial race pay a visit to our planet? If you believe the story being told about the interruption of the Southern Television broadcast that took place in the United Kingdom, then it is precisely what took place. Everything was going according to plan when all of a sudden, things started going haywire, and a voice started speaking. The voice claimed to be a representative of an intergalactic association that had come to deliver a message to Earth. The voice instructed us to destroy all of our weapons of evil and warned that we would only have a brief window of opportunity to live in peace. The duration of the transmission was six minutes in total. The vast majority of people had the opinion that this is an elaborate hoax, but, given that the perpetrator has never been identified, who is to say that it wasn't indeed an extraterrestrial being posing as a human and attempting to convince us to behave in a more civilized manner? Number 4. Mayday Interruption. A terrifying interruption to a television broadcast occurred in 2007 while an episode of the Canadian television series Mayday was being shown in Australia. Unexpectedly, a spooky audio loop began playing for a total of six minutes, and throughout that time it kept reiterating the phrase, Jesus Christ, help us all Lord. Even now, it is unclear if the conduct was purposeful or whether it was a glitch of some kind that actually occurred. After some time had passed, it was found out that the audio was taken from a news program that had been broadcast the previous year. The program depicted a citizen pleading for his life while terrorists shot on his truck. Number 3. Art Bell Radio Station Hijacking 
In 1997, talk show presenter Art Bell was working on his radio program when he got a call from a person who said they had worked for Area 51. The caller is tense, suspicious, and appears to be on the run since he believes he doesn't have much time left before the government finds him and puts an end to his operations. The most peculiar thing about this situation is that as soon as he begins disclosing confidential information, Art's entire radio station gets taken off the air. They are unable to explain why it did that, however, many conspiracy theorists believe that the government took control of the broadcast in order to prevent the man from disclosing too much information. Things got even stranger a few months later when a person claiming to be the same man called in and admitted that it was all a hoax. However, the general public who had listened to him talk disputes the fact that it was the same man at all, instead believing that it was just another way for the government to cover up the leak in information. Number 2. Captain Midnight. A man named John McDougall, an electrical engineer, was frustrated in 1986 by the prices of premium television subscriptions and determined to do something about it. He interfered with HBO's satellite signal and broadcast his own message as a means of expressing his displeasure with the company's excessive subscription fees at the time, which were $12.95 per month. He introduced himself as Captain Midnight and swiftly indicated that their fees were excessively exorbitant and that in the near future, he will be going after Showtime as well as another premium network. His statement ran for close to five minutes and was shown live on the screens of HBO subscribers located in the eastern portion of the United States of America. After being apprehended, he was penalized with a $5,000 fine and sentenced to a period of probation. Number 1. Super Bowl Adult Interruption do you remember when Janet Jackson's shirt got ripped apart at the Super Bowl halftime show and the entire audience went absolutely bonkers? This is one million times worse than anything else. A motion picture with explicit content unexpectedly cut into the broadcast of the Super Bowl in 2009, shocking thousands of Comcast customers in Arizona. During the most important sporting event of the year, viewers were subjected to around 37 seconds of content that was not permitted. The Wild Cherries 5 event was restricted to viewers of the game who were only receiving a standard definition stream, but it was nonetheless something that, for obvious reasons, made a great number of people angry. The man who committed the act was an employee of Cox Communications who also worked for Comcast as a liaison. He was sentenced to three years of probation and a fine of $1,000 for his actions. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.